Governor's State of the State address to the first day of the legislative session. It's been a busy day in Montgomery. Hello, I'm Jim Dunaway. And I'm Sherry Jackson. A lot going on in local news tonight. We have reports from all over our viewing area. Brittany Bivens is live at the state capitol. Stefan Dingle has reaction from educators on the confirmation of Betsy DeVos. But first, our Jamie Ostroff is live in Birmingham following an investigation into the deadly shooting of a 17-year-old high school student. And Jamie, you spoke with that teenager's family. I have, Sherry, and we have learned a lot this afternoon about this investigation. We have learned that the victim's name is Isaiah Johnson. He was 17 years old and he went to Winona High School. Police have also told us this evening that he and his friends were looking to buy a gun. They say he arranged that transaction on Facebook and likely met the seller in an alley off of 2nd Avenue South near Railroad Park where he was killed. Workers spilled out of their offices while police officers rushed in. Isaiah Johnson was shot just before three along 2nd Avenue North. Police say he was still alive. He made his way out into the roadway and that's where he collapsed. Uh, several officers got to him and we began to perform CPR on him. But it was too late. I was praying all the way here for strength, uh, not knowing what uh, the outcome was. I was concerned why I was being informed to come to the railroad park rather than to go to a hospital. Dr. Carl Johnson is a pastor. He's also Isaiah's uncle, facing the enormous burden of consoling his own family. Just the grace of God to sustain us uh, and uh, this trying time. Police believe Isaiah was buying a gun illegally. But Johnson paints a different picture, telling us his 17-year-old nephew was a beloved part of a devout church-going family. He's always respectful. Uh, I've never had any problems or disrespect with him. While it's up to police to piece together exactly what happened in those last moments of Isaiah's life, his family will continue to pray. We trust that the justice will prevail. The law will do what the law needs to do here so they can get to the bottom of what happened here. Just minutes ago, Dr. Larry Contry, the interim superintendent of Birmingham City Schools, did send out a statement including his condolences to Johnson's family and friends. He also said that grief counselors are going to be made available for students and staff tomorrow at Winona High School. Meanwhile, police still have not named any suspects. Live in Birmingham tonight, Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News.